This is the story of ego battles in the land of technology. How did the rivalry between Google and Microsoft in Silicon Valley accelerate artificial intelligence? How did competition, secretly strengthened by ego battles, feed small startups to capitalism? Let's dig deeper into the birth and rise stories of DeepMind and OpenAI. The smartest creatures will now own the world's wealth, Elon. There are risks, but we should be the ones building and controlling these machines. Peter, I have a project that will push the boundaries of artificial intelligence and will be a milestone in the studies. Demis, I think it's time we made a start. Don't worry about the finances. DeepMind, founded by Demis, got in very fast. They've started to embody artificial intelligence. Talk to them, see what they want to join us. DeepMind chose Google for $650 million. I invited Demis to talk about SpaceX and my Mars project. He spoke nonsense. He said, even if you go to Mars, you can't escape artificial intelligence. I think humanity should start to be afraid of those machines. Guys, we are here today to begin an important dialogue on the future and ethical dimensions of artificial intelligence. Elon and I want to share our serious concerns about the challenges that I will bring, especially in terms of unemployment. The pace of our AI development has the capacity to put a lot of people out of work. At Google, we have a responsibility to create new jobs for people. I understand, but these developments are inevitable. The world is constantly changing and we must be at the forefront of that change. Larry, we can't take these matters lightly. People's lives are at stake. I understand, but what we need to focus on is developing this technology and becoming leaders. We need to accelerate our efforts, and the solutions to these challenges will come from our innovation. Hi Sam, how are you? Yeah, uh, um, I'm talking about the, the birthday party last night. I was hoping to see you there. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't there, Elon. How did it go? It was interesting. Uh, Larry and I had a pretty deep conversation uh, on artificial intelligence. Oh, really? What does Larry think? He talked about his plan for a digital utopia where AI will be smarter than humans. Can you imagine that? <laughs> I said we need to go slowly. We need to be aware of the risks. I said machines can't be smarter than humans. They shouldn't be. And what did Larry say to that? He accused me of being a speciesist. Can you believe it? Typical Larry. We need to counterattack, Sam. Are you in? Yeah, I am. The AlphaGo project was a game changer, Mustafa. For the first time, Artificial intelligence defeated a real player in a Go game, a level of development that was estimated to take 10 years. The others are already in a panic. Too much speed will get us into an accident, Larry. At this rate, we're gonna have to leave Google. Leaving? That's not going to happen, Mustafa. Sam, listen, I believe we need to bring uh, OpenAI and Tesla together and make a commercial breakthrough. We need to accelerate. That's a pretty radical move, Elon. Our goal has always been a broader, uh, more open vision. I understand, but we're behind. What we need is money and fast momentum. Elon, this change of strategy risks deviating from OpenAI's core principles. If we do that, we have to think about where we're going and what we stand to lose. If we can't move forward in this way, then my ideas don't fit into OpenAI's framework. In that case, I think it would be best to leave. Elon, we started with you and have always valued your insights, but this proposal is not aligned with the values of our organization. I wish the best for OpenAI, but this is not my path. OpenAI is looking for funding. We need OpenAI to enter the AI field strongly. Give them whatever they want for the partnership. We won't fall behind Google anymore.
After the Microsoft partnership, Altman was keen to speed up the pace of AI work by accelerating the search for investment and funding for OpenAI. But Ilya Sutskever, the engineer behind ChatGPT, argued for a slower pace, lest the risks spiral out of control. The battle between the two men culminated in Altman's sacking, which led to Microsoft stepping in and bringing Altman back, increasing its dominance on the board. The little fight at OpenAI was actually a micro-summary of the fight in the valley. Those who want to accelerate AI and those who want to take baby steps. This year, we will see all sides in the battle to develop general artificial intelligence in the competition that big companies have fueled by swallowing up small startups. General AI is machines that can make predictions with the reasoning and analytical power of humans.